Hi guys, Lisa Laura here and I'm back with another video. This is another creative doozy and you know what, this one's a bit embarrassing because, I'll tell you what, I'm doing character naming fantasy version. Um, so, oh gosh, this is really embarrassing. I'm going to be telling you guys how I named my characters from my book Unlocking Secrets. A lot of them got their names from, like I looked up like, um, what was it, like demon names and stuff, which is how one of my characters, the main characters, Great Taker's great grandmother ended up with a name, which, and when I was looking at the names, I didn't look up the meanings of them, which is, it's very important to look up the meanings of names, even when you're naming characters. Otherwise you get names that don't mean, so now my character has a name that doesn't mean, that doesn't, I mean, not like anybody's looking up the meaning of my character's name anyways. But, so now this character has a name that doesn't mean, that has nothing to do with her personality whatsoever. So, and I can't actually remember what her name means. So I'm going to have to look it up. So, Taker's grandmother, I named her Kaz, Kazdea, or however you pronounce it. Um, and apparently it's from the Book of Enoch, and it means the fifth of Satan. And I'm just like... When I looked it up after I published the book, I'm like, what? How did I even... Yeah. So now you see why I'm like, oh gosh. So that did not go well for me. Um, so let's see. Um, at least, like, okay, so, hold on. Um, so, and then, I mean, some of the other characters have some pretty, the other, I mean, a lot of them have names that don't mean things that are bad. I'm, I'm satisfied with some of the meanings of names, but that one character, I'm just like, Kazuya, why is that what your name means? It sounds so pretty. It looks pretty when we spell it does not have a nice meaning to it. Wish I would have known that before. I wish I would have done my due diligence and known that beforehand. <laughs> so, uh, um, the main, or Tegra's aunt, or, oh, not aunt, the, well yeah, her aunt. Tegra's aunt, Asia. Um, a, the name Asia means hope, which I like it. That's, that's a nice meaning for a name. It means hope. That's a good name. That's a good meaning. Tigra means tigress, actually. It means tigress. And I think I've told you guys that before, actually. Um, her little brother, Noam, his name means beauty, serenity, gen kindness, and generosity. Um, okay, well, we already covered his name. Um, I just covered. So that's fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I was a little like, why? Why did I do that? I didn't know. So, and now I'm stuck with this name because I can't change her name now. It's okay. I just look past the meaning of it and still use it. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I actually find it names fascinating because like every, it's so awesome, it's so fascinating how every name has a meaning. And I will touch again on this subject, this whole name meaning thing. I mean, words have meanings too, but names have meanings. Names are powerful. Are powerful because they're. I mean, they're part of our identity. I mean, care even for characters, it's their name is their identity. You give a character a name with a bad name meaning, it means you're probably going to use that character as your villain. This character is not a villain, but that's the point. Anyways, that's the end of this video, because I could ramble on for hours. You don't want me to. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a blessed day. Love you all.